Hello everyone, welcome back to the map of mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this nice algebra problem. And here we have 5 to the power of x minus 4 to the power of x equals to 3 to the power of x. And we will solve this problem for the values of x. So the very first thing we are going to do is here first we will divide both of the sides by 4 to the power of x. So when you divide both of the sides by 4 to the power of x, then the above expression will become 5 to the power of x over 4 to the power of x minus 4 to the power of x over 4 to the power of x equals to 3 to the power of x over 4 to the power of x. And now we will make little bit simplifications here. And you see that these two terms are cancelled by each other and here uh, we will use the exponential i here and we make the exponent x in the combined form and we write this expression as 5 over 4 and its whole power x minus here you got 1 and this whole equation equals to here we again combine the exponent of this term and you write 3 over 4 and its whole power x so uh, in the next step uh, first you will focus on the left hand side and here you see that we have this is 5 over 4 and we write we know that 5 is greater than 4 and when 5 is greater than 4, we move this 4 in the left hand side and we write 5 over 4 is greater than 1. So, 5 over 4 greater than 1, uh, when we take uh, the exponent x on both of the sides of this term, it will be looks like in this form 5 over 4 and its whole power x is greater than 1. So, this shows that 5 over 4 and its whole power x is increasing function because here we use uh, the important fact here you know you know that uh, if you have b to the power of some x and b is greater than 1 then we say that b to the power of x is increasing function so here you see that uh, 5 over 4 is greater than 1 so 5 over 4 to the power of x will becomes the increasing function so here I can just name this as increasing function and uh, you know that uh, 1 be the uh, constant function and when you subtract 1 from an increasing function then it will remains the increasing function so uh, it means that the left hand side of this problem will becomes the increasing function okay so now we move the right hand side and in the right hand side you have 3 is lesser than 4 and we move 4 in the left hand side you will see that 3 over 4 is less than 1 so it means that uh, 3 over 4 and its whole power x will becomes less than 1 so it means that 3 over 4 and its whole power x is decreasing function okay uh, so uh, you will see here the left hand side be the increasing function and uh, the right hand side will becomes decreasing function so when you will uh, draw a decreasing and increasing function visually or graphically then you looks like the graph of increasing function will becomes in this form and the graph of decreasing function will be looks like in downward or in this form and you see that the increasing function and decreasing function are intersect at only one point so this is the point of intersection in which increasing and decreasing functions are collide so uh, this point will become the solution of this problem 
so now uh, here we need to find uh, this point and in order to find this point we will just uh, find this point by uh, inspection so our given question statement is uh, 5 to the power of x minus 4 to the power of x equals to 3 to the power of x now we inspect uh, some values here and we check which one of the value which is satisfied uh, this problem so now first i can put uh, x equals to 0 so when you put here x equals to 0 in this uh, equation then you will get output in this form 5 to the power of 0 minus 4 to the power of 0 equals to 3 to the power 0 so here you have 1 minus 1 will become 0 equals to 1 so it is not possible because 0 is not equals to 1 so we will reject it this case and similarly now we will check at x equals to 1 so we check at x equals to 1 we put x equal to 1 on both of the sides and you get 5 to the power of 1 minus 4 to the power of 1 equals to 3 to the power of 1 so here you have 5 minus 4 is 1 and 3 so it is again not possible because uh, 1 is not equals to 3 so we will again reject it this case and now we check at x equals to 2 so when you put x equals to 2 here then you get 5 squared minus 4 squared equals to 3 squared and you see that 5 squared becomes 25 and 4 squared is 16 and 3 squared will becomes 9 so uh, 25 minus 16 equals to 9 and this is equals to 9 so this shows that x equals to 2 satisfies the given question so uh, it concludes that x equals to 2 be the only unique solution of this problem so uh, here we discuss uh, this point so this point be the x equals to 2 so this shows that this unique point be x equal to 2 and uh, uh, x equals to 2 be the uh, solution of this problem so uh, this solution uh, be the unique solution and uh, this is the our final conclusion of this problem and thank you so much for watching this video and i hope so you will like this video so if you like this video please support me by uh, subscribe to my channel and press the like button and thank you so much bye bye